Have you searched the internet trying to solve your problem of calculating exponents in Java? Well, if you're frustrated and you can't find it, I'm happy to tell you by the end of this video, you'll have a fully working Java program that calculates exponents for you. What's up? It's Alex back again. On this channel, a new video comes out of me and onto my YouTube page. So if you want a Java tutorial every week, you can subscribe. So let's teach you how to make exponents in Java. Just start a new Java project. We'll call it exponents, hit finish. In the source folder, make a new class. We'll call it exponents again. Take this first check mark and finish. An exponent is just one number raised to the other number. We can do an int, a float, a long, or a double, but we'll just do int, and we'll say int a equals five, and that's exactly how you would make an integer. But what if we want to raise five to the power of two to get 25? To get the exponent in Java, we can, well, first we can just do five um, times five. That's hard to keep track of. What if we wanted to raise it to the power of 10? We wouldn't want to do that 10 times, no. And that's exactly what I did, but there's a much easier way to do it. And to do it, you type math dot pow, that pow block in Mario. You put your parentheses and then you do two numbers, like five to the power of two. We can get rid of this integer here. We can save it, run it, let's see what happens. And we get 25. You'll see 25.0, but just know math.pow will return you a number with a decimal. If you don't want the decimal, right before math.pow, you can put some more parentheses and type int in there. You can space it out if you want to, save it and run it. And that'll pretty much turn the result of the exponent into a whole number, which is pretty useful. Let's say we want to do like eight to the power of five. I can't really calculate that in my head, so I'm just gonna let the program do it. And we see that eight to the five is 32,768. If we want, you can do exponents to decimals. So we can do 2.3 to the power of 5.1. You can do that if you want, but that's really all there is to it. If you wanted to store it, you'd have to store it in a double variable like this. If you're confused about what a double variable is, I made a video covering this and floats and longs. It's up on the card now if you want to check that out. Pretty much it's just a number with a decimal. Say double exponent equals math.pow. And we'll say like two, let's say two cubed to the power of three, like that. And we'll just print that out to the screen, that exponent. Save it, run it, you get eight. Again, if you wanted to turn this into an integer, we'd replace this with int, and then put this int in parentheses in front of it. That turns this exponent into an integer. Save that and run that, you get it without the decimal. On one hand, it's helpful that they have it, on the other hand, it's kind of confusing, but I hope I was able to explain it clearly to you. If it was helpful, please share this video if you think it might help someone and smash that like button if it helped you. As always, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and I appreciate that. And I'll catch you in the next video.